to create content for YouTube and stream on Twitch? Well, stick around because in today's video, we're building a high-end Threadripper system that can serve as a new budget option for content creators and streamers. Let's jump into it. But if this is your first time to the channel and you're into building and fixing up gaming PCs on a budget, consider clicking the subscribe button and notification bell to catch all new uploads like this one the moment they drop. Doing this helps me grow here on YouTube and as a content creator, and for that, I appreciate you all to the moon and back. What's happening YouTube and internet? Terrence here, and we're back inside the lab. And today we're building a system that comes in just over 2000 USD, but has the potential to deliver solid price to performance in both gaming workloads and productivity workloads. Which speaking of, I was able to pick up a Threadripper 1920X on eBay for just a little over 190 USD. And now I know AMD released the TRX40 chipset late last year, but I had an X399 board laying around collecting dust, so I figured why not jump on AMD's HEDT platform that's high-end desktop with the 1920X. Comparatively, you could go with the 3900X, the $500 12 core CPU on the AM4 platform, but I decided to stick with the X399 or TRX40 chipset. That way I could increase the core count down the road, exceeding the 16 core 32 thread 3950X on AM4. So tell me down in the comment section below if you think this was a good deal or not, or would you have gone with something else at this price point? And now with that out the way, let's do a quick rundown of all the parts. And now starting with the CPU, it's the Ryzen Threadripper 1920X. It comes loaded with 12 cores and SMT, enabling 24 concurrent threads of CPU power, 38 megabytes of cache on a quad channel memory controller, and 64 lanes of PCIe. This first generation Zen HEDT CPU is two years old, but I am expecting some solid price to performance, given that I only paid a little over 190 USD for it. And now moving on to the motherboard, the 1920X will be installed in the Asus Prime X399A as an Apple, or in this case, I really don't know what the A stands for. But it has support for up to 128 gigabytes of RAM with an XMP overclock of up to 3600 MHz, an M.2 heatsink that supports up to two M.2s, and although X399 is discontinued or now defunct with the TRX40 chipset taken over, this motherboard would allow me to upgrade to a 32 core 2990WX or a 2970X in the future. And then now jumping over to RAM, we're going to be using Corsair's Dominator Platinum 32 gigabyte kit of DDR4 memory, and that's four sticks of eight gigabyte modules and quad channel. It is rated for 3000 megahertz, but I'm going to see if we can dial in an XMP to push this RAM a little bit further, but more on that later. And then for storage, I'm going with a Samsung 960 Evo 250 gigabyte NVMe SSD. This drive will be used for our OS and other programs. And then a 250 gigabyte Samsung A60 Evo SSD for just a few games. It's only 500 gigabytes of storage, I know, but I wanted this system to be outfitted with nothing but fast storage. So I will be adding a two terabyte SSD in the future, but you guessed it, more on that later. And then for our cooling solution, we're going with the Corsair H105 240mm all-in-one liquid cooler in a push-pull configuration with a total of four 120mm Corsair fans. This is a part I definitely plan on upgrading in the future to either a 360mm AIO or to a full custom loop. So be sure to get subscribed to the channel if you're not already to catch that content when it drops. And for the GPU, which was just recently overclocked outside. And if you haven't seen that content, I'll throw a link up to that card so you can check it out after watching this one. We're going old school with the high-end Asus ROG Strix GTX 1080 Ti. It has over 3500 CUDA cores, 11 gigabytes of GDDR5 video RAM, and this is going to be good for high FPS in games while we're streaming and for CUDA acceleration in programs that support it. I also tested this GPU with the X5675, which is a Xeon 6-core 12-thread CPU, and I'll throw a link up to that card as well, so you can check that video out sometime after watching this one, or the previous one. And for the power supply unit, I'll be going with the EVGA Supernova G3 1000W 80 Plus Gold PSU. It's fully modular, and I will be adding custom cables to give this system a more custom look 
but it will be more than enough power to run this system with space on top for overclocking our CPU or for adding another GPU for SLI. And then for the final part of this lot is the case, which is a long time favorite of mine. I fell in love with this case when I first saw it at Computex. It is the Cooler Master Master Case H500M. I do know what the M stands for, and that's mesh, as it has the option to use a mesh front panel or a glass panel. The former being more ideal for airflow, but the latter better looking. It has four edge to edge tempered glass panels mounted on a steel chassis. It also comes with two 200 millimeter addressable RGB fans and a controller, perfectly combining aesthetics and performance. This configuration will change over time. But these are the components we have on hand today so these are what we're going with to build this system and now if you're filling the parts that's on the table do me a favor and hit that like button for me below and let's jump in and build us a pc
there you have it, ladies and gents. The core shredder is here. This PC is up and running and good to go. And now we'll be overclocking the CPU, the GPU, and the RAM, and also benchmarking this system in a separate video, so be sure to stick around for that one. And to learn more about budget PCs and other gaming-related stuff, watch the top playlist first and then the bottom one next. Consider clicking around the subscribe icon right there on your screen and come back and join us for more tech and other PC gaming related content. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and go. Thanks for giving this one a watch. I hope to catch you all in the next one. So until then, be easy.